day 946 at the morning pop walk. It smells a bit like rain out. Definitely have some wind going. Clouds are still uh, not too bad. I guess that does look a little bit cloudier, but you can tell we definitely had a little bit of wind last night. Probably stick around a little bit today. But that's the way it goes. See how track ends up. I know we have another shoe demo today, so I'm kind of excited for that. Jennifer was struggling to get to sleep last night. I'm not sure why. She just got up around one. She's like, I can't sleep. I don't know if it was because the AC wasn't kicking on right or comfortable or what. I think she's going to be in today. But I feel okay now. On our way, we're running late. It's 4.58 and took a second to find my shoes. I'm changing up the shoe I'm wearing because I'm still having heel issues and a lot of it started, well, I felt it probably the worst last Wednesday when I wore my usual track shoes because they're so thin. And there's just a part of the track where it, it's just, I mean, it's all torn up still, but for whatever reason on the back half, my heel just kept hitting the ground and it got worse as the workout went on. So I'm wearing my Brooks Hyperion Elite 2, which I'll just try to show the picture over here. And they're just probably a newer shoe, more cushion, less wear and tear. I think I'm only worn two or three times. So it just hopefully it's gonna make a difference. I mean Hoka's supposed to be there, but I'm leaving so late. I think I'm gonna get there and they're just gonna start the workout. So I'm a little bit <laughs> a little bit nervous. But I should I'm still gonna get there in time. I just left later than expected. It happens sometimes just the stomach, I was waiting up for the stomach. I got up and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna have to go. And then after walking the dog and I changed clothes and I could feel my stomach to kind of start to wake up. And I was like, okay, maybe there's something there. Let me sit down for a few minutes. But the main thing is we're in the car, we're heading over, check in. I was gonna say we're gonna check in when we get to the track, but just gonna jog over. I already be giving a speech, so I'm just gonna check in afterwards and update you then. All right, all right, we're done. Let's see, seven point six eight. Long track workout, right? I'm gonna save it before anything happens to it. So what we did is we just did forty minutes, and then Tim just yelled out, or he had a whistle, he blew it three times, you go three minutes, 10K pace, two whistles, it's two minutes at 5K pace, and one minute is just almost everything you got. So we just did that, we alternated, I don't know, I think we had three threes, four twos, and about five or six ones. I don't know if that's 40 minutes, but there was also recovering between and so that's including the recovery. I don't know what the recovery was, but again, that's overall time, pace. Average pace was 651, and that's with a slow cooldown. I'll have to look to see what the other stats were. Okay, it doesn't really show anything. I'm gonna have to wait till it loads. It usually takes a few minutes after it's synced up. This is a tough one. I got here too late. Right when I got here, they had just taken the picture and then it, Tim had discussed what the workout was. So I tied my shoes and then pretty much got in the start line and we were off. And the first one was a it was jog. We jogged for maybe a minute. And then we did 10K pace and then 5K and then a one and then I think a one. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I don't think it was a ladder. We didn't go up and down. He mixed it in a little bit. But 
we had a good workout. We had a good workout today. Lots of good people there encouraging each other and encouraging each other there. <laughs> Jason and Gary were there. I was just talking to them for a few minutes. Talked to Vaughn again. There was a new girl, Christine. Christine came from the cycling group and said hi to her on the cool down. Said, hey, good job. And like, how'd you hear about the group? She's like, oh, I do cycling. I'm getting ready for a triathlon. California said, okay, good job. And then Vaughn was talking about, he just got back from helping a guy run 25 miles. He ran from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. And he said it was all in hills. It was at elevation. Pine Top, I think, is around 6,000 feet. It's over a mile high. And so he said he's just trying to recover right now. His body's still fatigued and tired. And then Jason said, he's like, I went to sleep after 2 o'clock, man. I'm, I barely got here in time. <laughs> And then Gary, Gary just finished uh, a marathon this weekend. And so he, he did about half the work and then they just kind of jogged and just got in easy miles. And sorry, there's everyone pulling in. We got to leave the track by like 6.30. So I got to head out before they kick us out. So I'll check in a little bit later. I'm going to go back to Salad and Goat. That's where we're going. I almost forgot. Head's still getting a little loopy, but we're recovering. We're coming back to it. Alright, showered up on our way to work. I did get the salad and go. I didn't tape it because there wasn't a line. It pretty much went straight through, which is awesome. I got Jennifer her buffalo salad with the cucumber mint lemonade. I just enjoy that for a little breakfast. And then I got two salads and the burrito, the pasta burrito the green salsa because that green salsa is fantastic I don't know maybe I just like green too much so I'm biased but that is good salsa especially from being from a salad place and then I got my autumn salad which I know Jennifer thinks it's weird but it has sweet potato and it has sprouts in it Brussels sprouts so I maybe that's why it sounds weird but it is really good it's Probably my favorite one out of the bunch. And I didn't get my Thai salad. I got the Greek salad instead. I just didn't get the olives. I've never been a big olive person, so I just asked them to put that on the side. But then it has feta cheese, peppers, and I think some spinach in there, I think was the difference. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have that today or tomorrow, but. It's just nice to double up and I don't have to think about it. We're about leftovers. So that's how lunch looks. Alright, got some catching up to do. Got out of work. Did run to the Verizon store, had to go to the grocery store. But now we're here. Trying to pasta night. Man, there's the spaghetti. Jennifer's a meatballs. Heading balls. <laughs> so there's our pasta sauce. We got our sliced garlic bread. We're gonna eat catch everything up on the whole story from work to here. But right now, focusing on food. So I'll catch up later. Okay, gotta do something we haven't done in a long time. We're gonna do, what are we watching Wednesday? Because, what did we just watch? A really great movie. Elemental. It, it just, was just like Rose and Dawson, except there was no lines. So she like goes, she's like, oh, never go, and he's gone at the bottom of the ocean. These two are fucking Rose and Jack. Oh. Jack. Who's Dawson? No, I don't Jack know. Dawson I was so lost. I was waiting for explanation who Dawson was. Jack Dawson is his last name. Oh. Okay, now, now I'm putting two together. But yes, yeah, so we're just finished Elemental. It's on Disney Plus as of today. And Charlie wanted to watch it in theater. We just never got around to it. So we did the dinner tonight and said, let's sit down and watch it together. We did. The three of us all loved it. Three of us all have our own aspects of why we loved it. I mean, there's such a great story. And I think I love it even more now because one of the... I think he's the animator and director. This guy named John has a little story of how he got into Pixar, how he got involved with art, his family, how the heart of the story is kind of his story. 
I mean, there's so many pieces there that make it come alive in that aspect. Like, you can watch it and just take that away, but then you watch this other aspect with him explaining it, and you see those comparisons and those parallels of his life and the elemental story, and it really just comes together. And it talks about how he got one out of college, was it back in 2000, one of his first jobs was Pixar, and he got into The Good Dinosaur, and then he got into Monsters University, and then he also did uh, The Guy from Up, I can't remember, The Boy, right, The Little Boy from Up, The Little Boy Scout, that was kind of loosely based on him. And, Gosh, there was a couple more. Then um, Finding Nemo, he was the was he a character or just just the artist? I think the artist. Yeah, but he's got like a long history with Pixar, and he's just someone said how the heart of the next film is gonna be based on his life and what this means and. It's just a really great story, and he's he just loves his job, he loves animation. And he even had this cool moment where he goes, he won an award for The Good Dinosaur, and he got up there and he had a, a list right there of who to thank and what to say. He tore it up and just thanked his parents, because his parents were, were making great sacrifices for him. And just try to do so much that he could have this opportunity to be an artist and to be where he's at now and oh my gosh there's there's a whole backstory plus the movie and the movies the color the story is great there's a bunch of silly parts what's there's... your love in the story david no i love david yes or no please yes there was Yes, they they love to go out and explore and have no, adventures. No, no, Did they, what, 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 what they say their love for each other? Oh my gosh. The fire in the water. Spoiler alert. Oh. Well, the movie's already on Disney Plus, so a lot of people have already seen it. Not a lot of people have. Well, they're gonna have to. <laughs> Get out. It's not really a spoiler. You can puff your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we were having a small debate about the whole movie. Nothing bad. It was all good things, but just what we got out of it. And it's, it, there's no just okay. There's a little love comedy. story in there. There's lots of comedy. It's funny. very creative. It's funny. It's adventurous. It's inspiring. It's love. I said that. Say My it. first thing. <laughs> It's just got elements to take away, like, say things now because you might not get another chance later. I mean, there's a whole few lines to that. There's a whole moment for that. And so if you watch it and you've seen Disney, you're not going to be disappointed. I don't know why this movie didn't get more acclaim and, and praise and why people weren't talking about it. It's very well done. It's got, a, again, a lot of heart, a lot of good moments in there. So whether you're a kid, you're going to think it's silly. Whether you're a family, you're going to be like, oh, I get the moments of the family dynamic. I get how they would get along or they would get upset, whatever it is. And you get how the kids are kind of on their own, but still carrying their parents' mentality and what they instilled in them through life. It's just so many great aspects so highly recommended you should, you should check it out go watch it it's it's very enjoyable i think it was only an hour 40 minutes long i'm, I'm guessing it was not that long at all it didn't even seem that long could have added another 20 minutes it was just that good that's enough fun for one night so i'm gonna change out of these hard clothes finally call it a night when your life with health and happiness have a good night I almost forgot, I meant to do a quick re recap of what happened I was at work, I was trying to print off this receipt for UPS because I was told I needed that to send my old phone back 
and stick a ship in it. I had called and asked them, can I just drop it off at Verizon? Because there's one down the street. They said, okay, yeah, sure, blah, 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 call here, blah, blah, blah. But she's like, I'm still going to send you over this receipt. I'm like, what? I'm like, what do I need that for UPS? I'm like, just to be safe, just in case. I said, okay. So I had help printing that off at work because the power went off yesterday, so I didn't have access to the printers. And then it printed it out, and then it was missing half of the documents. So it was just kind of a weird thing. So on the way there, I was on the Bluetooth. I was calling Verizon just to make sure I was okay if I returned it. They said it's good. Excuse me. I got there, returned the phone. It was fine. Got my eight hundred dollar rebate, whatever it was, for my old phone. Applied it to the new phone. I was trying to buy a case. I was this close. They went in the back, and the case that I was looking at, they said we don't have any in stock. We're actually the only store here in Arizona that doesn't have this one right now. So if you want to go to the one three or four miles away, you can get it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, so that took a little while. And then I had to get a receipt for my printout once my phone was all cleared out and turned in. So that took a while. Something happened to the printing paper, and I got part of the thing. It's like the key ring for the back of the phone. So it's like a magnetic lock, I guess, so that I can run with it. But again, the case is missing, so I gotta go get the case tomorrow at another store. But after that, I went to Fry's to get uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti sauce, garlic bread. I got some like, dryer sheets and some chocolate just because it was the movie night, so we had something to snack on. But that was everything from work to dinner, but that kind of fills you in. Yeah.